Okay, I'm finished with my uh, F-117 airframe, and I think this thing came out really, really nice. This is a badass looking plane. Um, it's got about a 25 inch wingspan, 30 some odd inches long, and um, the plans were designed for a pusher prop in the back right back here but uh, since my A10 Corsair didn't work out new project for the 70 millimeter ducted fan um, this thing I had to make some concessions first of all I, I looked for a lot of different plans for this plane and uh, this one really looked nice this one was uh, designed by uh, rcfoamfighters.com the concessions that were made to make this thing supposedly a good flyer was um, the tail fins about six to eight inches apart um, normally the F-117 they pretty much come out in the center and they spread up like that but because of the thrust here that's the design of the plane. The other thing is my EDF is uh, a little bit larger than this plane could allow so I've had to make a huge concession uh, just for functionality on the bottom of this plane. Let me flip it over and that is I've had to add this big thrust uh, bash guard on the bottom and really that just gives me a safe way to land this plane. Uh, I do belly landings, basically skid landings uh, without sucking up a lot of sticks and grass and crap into the EDF. Um, so it'll give me a little platform surface to land on, uh, protect the bottom of the plane, protect the EDF, and it doesn't really here, it doesn't really affect the look of the plane that much. Um, I think it'll be okay. The other cool thing about this design is there's the business end right there. Talk about some airflow through the back, through the uh, center of this plane. Huge inlet ducts in the front. And I've made some modifications. You probably can't see it. Um, I had a light on this thing somewhere. I don't know how the heck to turn it on. But um, I've basically tapered everything uh, for airflow inside. Uh, a little bit different from what the original plans called for. But I think it'll work a lot better. So this is basically top bottom shot. The EDF will slide right in there. The other cool thing about this plane is um, uh, a hatch, magnetized hinged hatch. Basically, all my electronics are going to go in here. Got a battery tray way down there uh, to move the, the battery up really far forward. So hopefully, I'll have the center of gravity. Actually, you can kind of see it a little bit better now. There we go. Um, and it's a little magnetic l latch, so if it stays closed, pop it, close it up, in and out really quickly, easily. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about on this plane is the center of gravity. Um, there's really no room for error. I can't move the battery around too much, so hopefully that'll work out. The EF is really heavy. Um, we're going to have elevons on this plane. Control. Uh, the only controls we're going to have basically is the elevons. And I think that's all that we're going to need. So, anyway, hopefully the next day or so I'll get the electronics in and be ready to take it out for its maiden voyage. And if it works out, then I'll, you know, put a nice flat black paint job on it and do the decals and all that good stuff. I almost don't want to fly this plane. I really think it came out nice. It's really cool. So, I don't know. I'll fly it anyway. If I crash it, I'll just build another one. Anyway, I'll put up the uh, maiden flight video as soon as I get that.